the world is waking up to another act of shocking violence one week after the deadly police ambush in Dallas. This time, France was hit by a new large-scale terror attack. A truck slammed into a crowd gathered to watch Bastille Day fireworks last night in the southern coastal city of Nice. The attack turned the streets into a scene of chaos. CBS News has confirmed the man behind the wheel was a 31-year-old French citizen born in Tunisia. At least 84 people were killed. Dozens of others were hurt. Police shot and killed the attacker. An American father and son on vacation with their family are among the dead. Sean and 11-year-old Brody Copeland are from the Austin, Texas area. Elizabeth Palmer is in Nice with the attack that's shaken the world. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. Well, once again, France has been plunged into shock and mourning after what should have been a joyous occasion. Huge crowds had gathered here on the boulevard behind me last night to celebrate Bastille Day and to watch the fireworks. It's a big holiday in France, the equivalent of the 4th of July. People were in a festive mood when all of a sudden a huge truck rammed into the crowd. The driver barreled down the densely packed street. Witnesses say aiming to hit as many people as he could. Police repeatedly tried to shoot him, but he managed to accelerate away and hit dozens more. People fled in panic. Witnesses say some even jumped into the sea. American tourist Kayla Repon was on the promenade when she ran without knowing exactly what she was running from. I mean, it seemed like everyone was running. You know, we were running away from something, but, uh, you know, we were just turning down alleys and kind of looking for somewhere that might be safe. For many, there was nowhere safe. The truck charged on for over a mile until police finally shot and killed the driver. Over 80 people, more than 10 of them children, were killed. The attacker has been formally identified. He's 31, a dual French-Tunisian citizen named Mohamed Lahoué Boulel, and he was known to the police for petty crimes. They found a handgun, an assault rifle, and fake hand grenades in his truck and are now trying to determine if he acted alone. ISIS-linked terrorists staged two waves of attacks in France in 2015, which killed 147 people. Il y a une second... President François Hollande said in Nice this morning that 50 people are still hovering between life and death. We've had ordeals in these last few months, he went on, but France will be stronger than those who wish us ill. President François Hollande also mentioned the children among the injured and the dead. He said they had wanted nothing more than to enjoy a happy evening with their families, but they were mowed down by the cruelty of a man and hinting at ISIS connections, a group. Elizabeth Palmer in Nice, thank you.